Hello all, welcome to part two of Apache POI API training series. In this session, we are going to understand few terminology about Excel files. So let's get started. You see in the previous session, I explained what exactly is Apache POI API and uh, how it will help the software testers that is test automation engineers to uh, automate the operations that can be performed that is different operations that can be performed on Excel files, okay? How to create the Excel files, how to delete them, and how to read from the files, how to write into the files, how to modify the files, all this stuff, okay? It will help us to automate. This library will help us to automate that I explained. But in this session, I'm going to explain what exactly are these Excel files, how they look like, how do we have to create it manually, okay? Before I start this, uh, practical demonstration of this Apache POI API and handling the Excel files, I would like to give a small brief, okay, uh, showcase of what exactly at a high level, you know, you have to know about these Excel files, okay? So there is few terminologies that you have to know regarding the Excel files, guys. That is, you have to know what is a workbook, what is a sheet, what is a, what are rows and what are cells. These four things you have to know to understand the POI API, uh, Apache POI API better. So what is a workbook? The entire Excel file entire document excel document is called as a workbook okay so let me create an excel file here so in terms of poi api an excel file is represented as a workbook guys okay this excel file having some name you can give some name if you want you can give some name this is an excel file sample excel file it the entire document is called as a workbook in poi api is represented as a workbook in poi api okay so in general also, you can call this as a workbook or Excel file, that's up to you, okay? But in Apache POI API, terminology is strictly followed, okay? So coming to the workbook, if you open this Excel file or workbook, Excel workbook, okay, it will open like this, and at the bottom of this document, you will see something known as sheet. You can create any number of sheets. You see, sheet five, sheet six, sheet seven, and you can name that. You can name the sheets also, one, okay? Sheet one, let's say this is login functionality, Okay, generally we create our test cases in uh, Excel, right? Uh, so log in, log out, okay? If you don't have any test management tool in your company, we generally use Excel files, okay? So you can you can name the sheets. These are nothing but sheets, okay? The data that is stored in this sheet will be different from data that is stored in this sheet, okay? It is a separation of the data from other sheets, okay? Now, you got to know about the sheets. What is a sheet? Contains this Workbook, entire workbook or entire Excel document contains multiple sheets in the form of tabs. As you can see here in the bottom, there are tab kind of structures, which are nothing but sheets. In each and every sheet, I can uh, store different type of data, okay? Fine, then coming to the rows, guys, okay? Let's go on only on to one of the sheet that is the, which is named currently as one here. I renamed that sheet one to one here. And here, what are these rows? Rows, I'll tell you, these are rows, row one, row two, all these numbers. As you can see, these numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five. All these are rows, guys. Okay, but uh, these are actually not rows. Okay, without data, there are no rows. So let's do one thing. I'll just uh, create some sample data here. Uh, let me create some sample data here. I'll say first name, and here I'll say last name. Okay, last name. In the row one, the headings are there. Okay, the row one. The headings of this particular data are there and from row two onwards from the row two onwards i'm giving the actual data okay i'm giving the actual data like my first name my last name i gave uh, other people names also i can give Varun. let's say Dawat. then uh, tarun baskar okay kishore ravi like this i can give okay so there are rows and now how many rows are in this uh, sheet one? In sheet one, how many rows are there? You should not say 29, you should say only five rows are there, okay? Whatever the rows that are filled up with data, those are rows, okay? Those can be called as rows for now, okay? Especially regarding the POI API, if you count the number of rows, the rows are nothing but the rows which are actually filled up with data. Those are the rows. Here from one to five, they are the rows. Other rows doesn't have data. So Pi API doesn't recognize them as rows. Every sheet we can have rows. And in every row we can have, we can contain cells. For example, there are two cells, cell one, cell two. In the first row, how many cells are there? First name cell is there, last name cell is there. Second row, Arun cell is there, Motri cell is there. Third row, Varun cell is there, Dawa cell is there, okay? Individual cell, 
is this is called as a cell guys okay this is called as a row whatever i'm highlighting is a row whatever i am selecting here in the tab that is a sheet the entire document is called as a workbook and okay these four terminologies are very important because in the coming sessions of this apache pi api series okay as part of apache pi api library series we are going to use this workbook sheet rows and cells we are going to automate operating these excel files with the help of these terminologies only guys that's why this session is also important okay so hope guys you understood the excel files especially few terminologies that I have mentioned in this session. That is enough, guys, for proceeding with the Pi API. So we don't have to explore the entire Excel file and its options, OK? So this much of understanding for Pi API, the terminology understanding is enough, guys. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another Apache Pi API topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.